So this is a growler. This is an assembly that I created in SolidWorks a few years ago, kind of showing off some 3D sketching skills, some complex sweeping, some lofting and surfacing skills up here on the lid. And this is a device which is intended to carry around fluid, but the question is how much fluid is it supposed to hold? And so if we do a search on Google, we can see that a growler is supposed to hold 64 ounces of fluid. All right, well, then the next question becomes, how do we figure out if our growler here can hold 64 ounces of fluid? And to answer that question, we're gonna take a look at a really cool command in SolidWorks known as the intersect feature command. Ow. So to understand the intersect feature command, I'm gonna start out on a brand new part file with a front top and right plane. And this might seem a little bit strange, but I'm gonna make a copy of the front plane over here. I'm gonna make a copy of the right plane back here. And I'm gonna make a copy of the top plane up here. So now you can imagine that we've got six planes which are all perpendicular to one another. And hopefully you can visualize that if we were to collect the intersection of those six planes, we would end up with a rectangular prism. Well, that's exactly what the intersect command does. It allows you to select planes, solids, or surfaces and combine them together, giving you the resulting intersecting region. Now, it's a little bit funky and you normally wouldn't do this using six planes, but it's a good way to kind of illustrate how the tool works. So when I select those six planes, I can choose intersect. And once I choose intersect and hit the green check mark, what's left behind is a solid brick. So the intersection of all those regions is what's left behind. Now, let's hide these planes. Let's hide these planes and let's create a shell feature on this model. And then let's add some fillets to the bottom of this model. So we'll add some fillets here like so. And then let's ask ourselves how much fluid volume could this brick hold if we were to fill up water to this location? So I created a new plane offset from the top plane and I'm bringing that plane up to this location. I'm gonna hit the green check mark and now I'm gonna choose intersect. But instead of choosing six planes, I'm gonna choose a solid body and a plane. And what SolidWorks will do is it will take that, that plane and that solid body and it'll kind of chop them up based on the intersecting of the geometry that I've selected. Beyond just chopping them up, meaning that it's leaving me with this uh, upper kind of outer region of the box and this lower outer region of the box, it's also leaving me with this area here, which is the internal fluid volume for that box. So now what I could do is I could say, I wanna remove this body just by clicking on it. I wanna remove this body just by clicking on it. I'm gonna hit the green check mark and now I can go into evaluate mass properties and I can measure the fluid volume of that solid body. I think you probably see where I'm going with this. So in the case of the growler, what I could do is I could open up this part file into its own window. I could say, I'm gonna fill this fluid vessel up to a height of, let's say I do a hold control and drag up to a height of about here. And then what I'm gonna do is jump into the intersect command. I'm gonna pick this plane, I'm gonna pick this solid body and I'm gonna choose intersect. Then what I'm gonna do is say, get rid of this solid body, get rid of this solid body, and only leave me with that internal fluid region of this vessel. And so now I can go to evaluate mass properties. Remember, our goal is 64 fluid ounces. So evaluate mass properties. It looks like it's showing it to me in milliliters. So I'm gonna go up here to options, and I'm gonna say change my per unit volume here to fluid ounces, US fluid ounces. I hit okay, and Wow, look at that, 68.6, 68.88 fluid ounces. I think we could kind of round that up, right, to 69 fluid ounces. So we get a little bit of a bonus here from our fluid ounces, but maybe we just filled it up too high. Now, you might be asking yourself, why don't you just do this with a, um, a boss extrude and go up to next? Well, the problem with boss extrude up to next is if you, if you have geometry like this, the boss extrude is not gonna be able to get into all of those little nooks and crannies. But in the case of this fluid volume here, this fluid vessel, which I downloaded this from GrabCab, uh, this fluid vessel, I could choose the features command, I could choose intersect, I could say this is the location that I'm gonna fill to, my fill line, and this is the solid body, I choose intersect, and I can say, get rid of this region up here, get rid of this region here just by clicking on it and only leave me with the internal fluid volume. And so maybe this one I'm supposed to measure in gallons. So I would go evaluate mass properties and then I would go up to my options here and I would say, change this to gallons. 
US gallons. I say, okay, and it's supposed to be a half gallon container. It's coming up at 0.45. So maybe we need to increase the height of the fill line or maybe you know add a little bit of geometry to this vessel. The last place I wanted to show you that I sometimes use Intersect would be on like plumbing applications. So if you wanted to find out how much fluid volume could be retained in this fixture, what you would do is probably offset some planes a little bit from the end to account for any type of like coupling or, you know, two parts sticking into one another. So offset your planes from the ends as needed. And then you can go into features Intersect. And now this time we're going to choose these one, two, three planes that are on the ends there and the solid body. And then we're gonna choose intersect. And now once again, we can say, get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this, get rid of this, uh, get rid of this also getting intersected from this plane here and get rid of this and uh and then what you can do is hit the check mark and now we could go to evaluate we could go to mass properties we could say we want to measure this in milliliters and we can say that the internal section of that is going to have 380 milli milliliters of fluid and so that is the intersect command in solidworks and that also answers the question of how do we figure out if a a vessel can hold a certain amount of fluid volume. And the answer to that is we can use the intersect command. So if you have any questions about this video, let me know down in the comments below. Of course, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe, and be sure to come back for the next episode of Power Moves.